I had always wanted to have a view either of the river or the city. And uh, I saw this uh, come online and uh, drove by and I thought it looked like it had a lot of potential and my husband liked it so we asked our realtor to see it and we put an offer on it that Excellent. day. We replaced two heating air conditioning systems. Oh, wow. We've got three in this house and we replaced two a uh, couple of months ago and they weren't working as well as they should mm. because our attic was so hot yeah. even though they were brand new. It had three fans that were on a thermostat and when it got to a certain temperature in the attic the system of the three fans was supposed to come on and vent the attic. Notice you said suppose. <laughs> um, but somehow through the years Two of the fans had broken. There was only one fan left that worked. And instead of venting the air, it was totally inadequate to vent all the air, the hot air in the attic. Um, it would just make the entire house vibrate and shake. Mm -hmm. And it roared. We couldn't put anything in there because it was like an oven, right. uh, especially in the summer. And uh, you allowed us to do something traditional. Tell us about the vents on the top. Well, I wanted to put something in that would last and that would somehow be more of a passive system and an old-fashioned system. Mm -hmm. And as I've driven, came to this solution to use that old-fashioned technology of bringing the hot air, bringing air in at the base of the roof and letting it rise and vent out the top. How did it work? works great. <laughs> it really does. It's cooler up there. The mm -hmm. second floor air conditioning system isn't having to run all the time Excellent. like it was. And, uh, and that's one of our new systems. And so now I feel I have no problem uh, storing things in the attic like I wanted to. Oh, well, up on your roof a little bit later. Not with you. <laughs> but uh, Charles and I are going to go up on the roof a little bit later. A little um, machine that will tell us exactly what the temperature of the shingle is. And of course, what you're talking about is if you let that temperature build up, because the roof is hot, it builds up the attic space um, air and just gets hotter and hotter and actually becomes like an oven up there. This is the outtake part of the air. We talked about the uh, air has got to come in. If you don't have air coming in, you're not turning the air over, even though you may have ways for it to get out. Now, this is a very traditional way. This is a way that my granddad would have done it. This is the way my dad did it in their early years. You'll often see these on very quality buildings, buildings like the uh, University of Texas and other buildings will have these dormer style vents. And man, you can just feel the heat coming out of it right now. 